everybody, it's Nintendo VS100 here with my very first ever Let's Play. Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I would have started this sooner, but I've kind of been busy lately, but oh well, let's get this started. We get the cool little intro. Honestly, I, I really like this song. I, I, I always thought it was really cool. And look at this intro in all its 16-bit Game Boy Advance glory. Now we see Mei, who is the girl character of this game, riding around on her bike with a couple of other Pokemon. Now, here's something that doesn't make sense. Okay, look, she has a Torchic, and yet she has a fully evolved Manetric and Flygon. What the heck? That makes no sense. And it fell flat on his face. Wow. That's the, that's a real smart Torchic. And here, here we see the mascots of the other two games. There was Groudon from Ruby, and here's Kyogre from Sapphire. And the um, mascot of this game, uh, Rayquaza. Or Rayquaza. I, I really don't. You can pronounce it however you want. I I I'll, I'll switch between them. So if I say one say it one way and then say it the next way, don't criticize me. But um, all right. Let's get this let's get this thing started. Uh, stupid internal battery. It just ignore this. It really doesn't make a difference all that much. I want to ch and I'll change the settings because I don't want everyone talking really slow. And I just like this frame. I always use this frame whenever I play the game. Oh well, let's get this started. We get the typical intro like we did at the beginning of any Pokemon game, where they introduce the professor of this region, um, and this, in Hoenn, it is Professor Birch. Um, and he sends out a low tad. He tells us the typical, oh, Pokemon are, are our friends and everything, and how some people use them to train, who train, there are some people who train them to battle and everything, and they say that how you should take care of them, but, uh, whatever. So I'm, I chose the boy character, of course, because I am a guy, and I'm not going to use my real name for this LP. Um, I'm just going by, by Nintendo. If you know what Nintendo, where where I got the name, post a comment in the um, under this video. But um, okay, oh well, whatever. Um, uh, do 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 do. See you in my Pokemon Lab. Okay, but now now the game's starting. And we're in the back of a moving truck, really? Why can't we sit up in the front? Better yet, why couldn't we have just walked here? I don't know. It's not that far from where we're coming from. And ooh, the light. Go towards the light. And here's our mom. She actually shoved us in the back of the moving truck. She We couldn't sit up in the front, of course. That's where she, she put her um, freaking Twilight novels there. Ah, oh, seriously. We have some movers. Obviously, they're Pokemon, because, well, this is a Pokemon game. Okay. Simple as that. Now I'm gonna check my trainer ID. So, uh, okay, wait a second. Okay, I reset the game so I could get a trainer ID ending with either one or six. Of course, I got six. Now we're coming to play later. You'll see what that's for later. Okay, I'm gonna check my PC. Um, like most Pokemon games, you can get the potion there. Let's see. Now the uh, map. Unlike the previous two um, generations, you can actually move the cursor around the map. That instead of just having to hit up and down and go to a random location. Now we're going to have to set the clock that apparently our dad sent us. It's about, I think, yeah, it's about 10, 15 while I'm recording this. But okay, our mom comes back up. Okay, everything's finished moving. Now here's the thing, they say that Pokemon are your friends and everything, yet they're using them as slaves to move stuff. Oh, okay, what's this? That's uh, a news report, um... Blah blah blah. Apparently, my dad. Wait, yeah, the, the, you're, you have a dad in this game. Straight, yeah, May and Brandon. They're t probably the two characters. They're very rare RPG heroes. They actually, where you actually meet both parents. So we want to go visit Professor Birch's house. This is his wife, and this is also May's dad. Not May's dad. This is May's mom. What am I saying? That'd be weird if that was if dad. Check this Pokeball. Oh, and here's May. Um, she will be our rival for this game. Honestly, and well, this is the start of rivals not being a complete jerk to you like Gary and Silver. But I don't know why. I just I like them being mean. And May's just a pushover. I mean, seriously. By the end of the game, I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't even fully evolve her starter. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's see. You're not supposed to say the power of science is staggering, it's supposed to be technology is incredible! 
well, let's go see Professor Birch. Whatever. And he's not here. Uh, he's out doing field work. Okay. If, you, if any of you guys watched the anime, um, you would know that Professor Birch likes to do a lot of field work. You would commonly see him in the episodes, like, roaming around. But, um, okay, let's go, let's head out and see if we can go find Professor Birch. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. This girl was like, oh, I, there's scary Pokemon outside. Whatever. Let's go see if we can find... What? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He's getting chased by a Zigzagoon. This is actually something they've changed from the previous games. But I'll get on that later. I'm going to ch choose Torture because I just like it a lot. But let's get this... This will introduce battles into the game. Um, basically, the way it works is you both have an HP bar. And, like, here's the Pokemon page. It shows you your type and nature. I'm going to reset it so I can get a different nature. Just a second. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. If you once your HP bar goes down to zero, you faint. Okay. Yeah, I got the nature I want. Okay. Now you have the ability to fight. Um, right now I only have two moves: scratch and growl. Growl just lowers our attack, I think. And it's a turn-based RPG, like all the other Pokemon games. If you don't know this, you're an idiot. Or maybe unless you haven't played a single Pokemon game before, and if you haven't, I feel sorry for you. But okay. And at the end of the battle, you get experience. But okay, let's talk to Professor Birch. We go, we all of a sudden warp back to his lab. He, oh, you're a lot like your father. Blah blah blah. My father' blood runs through my vein, and he'll give me the Pokemon I used earlier for absolutely no reason. And I'm gonna give it a nickname. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, probably a very overused um, nickname for a fighter, fire type Inferno. Oh well. I usually don't nickname my Pokemon that often, but for the sake of this walkthrough, I thought I might as well, just for the heck of it. And he tells us about May. yeah, I guess it's a good idea to go meet her, even though we technically already have met her. Oh well, let's get out of here. Okay, back on Route 101. Uh, you walk through the, the grass, Pokemon high will hide in wild in the, in the tall grass, even though it doesn't look all that tall. But yeah, here's is a Poochiana. Now, if you actually played Ruby and Sapphire, you would know that instead of being chased by a Zigzagoon, Professor uh, Birch would have been chased by a Poochiana. Which, honestly, I think Poochiana is more of a threat. Eh, well, wait a minute. No, it's not. Poochiana sucks. So does its, so does its evolved form, Mightyana. You're going to see plenty of those throughout this game. Trust me. Oh, well. Let's just keep going. Now, um, when we go to meet Mei, it's actually going to be our first actual trainer battle of the game. And I want to be at least level 7 before I get to that battle. So, I'll be battling a few Pokemon. Now, I will, I might end up cutting out wild battles a little later in the LP, just for the sake of time. But, um, for now, I'm not going to... And I'm going to be battling, like, every wild Pokemon I, uh, I, Pokemon I encounter... Because that, if you just keep running away, it's wasting experience. I mean, they're there for you to beat up. I mean, why not? And you can uh, get stronger off them. So why not do that? Whatever. Uh, okay, I'm cutting away until I'm level 7. See you guys in a minute. Or a second for you guys. Okay, well, I'm back. And now Inferno's level 7. Okay, and it- oh, and it learned Focus Energy. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's head into the next town. Alright. And this is Oldale Town. The second town of the game, and talk to this guy. He works at the Pokemart. Um, of course, he'll take you to the Pokemart. He'll give you, um, a potion. So that means when you have a two. Of course, he takes you to the Pokemart, because he wants you to buy stuff when- even though you can go to the Pokemon Center and heal up, um, which I'm going to show you right now, and you can heal up free. You're going to be using these plenty throughout the game. Trust me. Alright. Yes, I'd like to rest my Pokemon. Of course, I only have one right now. Duh. I haven't caught anything yet. Okay. Okay, let's go. Mm, okay, let's head out of town. What? Uh, oh, he just discovered footprints. He's sketching them. Okay, whatever. It's not like we have a choice. We can't go past him anyway. Sorry, 
sorry that, that this is kind of going slow, but since it is the beginning of the game, I promise you, later parts, they will be a little more exciting. It won't just be random encounter, random encounter, random encounter, talking to random people that don't have really any point of the game. But, okay. Yeah, here we are. We're getting up to May. I'm going to save right here. Um, and, I get, and I'll battle her in the next part. So, until then, this is Nintendo Wii S, saying, see you guys later.